Hello everyone, welcome to my online edu.com's video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll learn how to install Ubuntu operating system on VirtualBox. As you know that VirtualBox is a software provided by Oracle. This particular software is used to create virtual machines in your host operating system. So what does it mean is, I, if I have a Windows operating system, for an example this one, I am using Windows 7 as my host operating system. And if I want to use another operating system like Ubuntu of Linux category, I can use the virtual box like software and create the virtual machines using this virtual box software and install Ubuntu operating system in that virtual machine. So let's see how we can use this particular software to create the virtual machine. So first thing you need to do is you need to download this software from virtualbox.org website and once you download just install this software. So this is how the software is installed. Just ignore these two already installed operating system in the virtual machines. But normally, once you install this virtual box, this two will not be there. It will be completely blank. Now, the second thing that you need to do is go to ubuntu.com and download the Ubuntu OS. So here, I'm going to download, click on the download tab, and then Ubuntu desktop, right? At, at present, it's 18.04 LTS means long term support version is available. So I'll click on that. And as you can see, it has prompted me to save the ISO file here into my local hard drive. As you can see, this is a size of 1.8 GB. So it is going to take a while to download but I already have downloaded this particular software into my machine. So Ubuntu ISO image is available. So I will just start from that virtual machine. First thing that you, I have to do is create a new virtual machine and I have to provide a name. So this time I'll provide Ubuntu 64-bit and since I typed, it automatically, you know, may type and version is automatically been taken care. If it is not, you can put it here like Linux. And for Ubuntu, there are two versions, 32-bit and 64-bit. This one is 64-bit. And I'll click Next. Now, this is the memory size I want to allocate to these virtual machines. So, 3 GB of memory should be good enough. then click next now I'll leave this option as default create a virtual hard disk now and this is also I'll keep it as it is VDI it's dynamically allocated and select the size of the virtual hard disk in megabytes so I need some extra space here so I'll keep it 30 GB okay and then create. So this particular Ubuntu 64-bit, this came over here. And don't start it immediately. Just go to settings. In the general tab, you'll see this Linux Ubuntu 64-bit is good. Now shared clipboard, I'll make it bidirectional. And drag and drop also, I'll make it bi bidirectional. And the snapshot folder is this folder. So just a folder, you know, you have to mention. And here, all the files uh, the will be, you know, kept for this particular virtual machine. Next, go to system. And the base memory is 3 GB is allocated, which is OK. Now go to storage. OK, so now here, you select the optical drive just click into this icon and choose the virtual optical disk file 
and then select the ISO file of the Ubuntu 1804 and click open. So you see the location here. So the ISO file location is present. So now you need you do not need to do anything. Shared folder, leave it as, as it is and then click OK. So now everything is set up. So now you can start it. So I'll make a normal start. So now the Ubuntu installation process has started. I'll minimize this window and I'll maximize this one. Okay, so the installation screen has appeared. I'll select English as a language and I'll click on this install Ubuntu button. And also the keyboard layout, I'll keep it as default, but you can change if you need it. Click on the continue button. Yes, I want the normal installation and also download the updates while installing Ubuntu. Keep it as it is. Click continue. Okay, and I'll also keep it as it is, the erase disk and install Ubuntu. Don't panic. This is not going to erase your hard drive, but this is going to actually erase the disk for Ubuntu that is a shared folder where the Ubuntu hard drive image will be stored. So I'll click install now. Click continue. Okay, so now it is asking for my location. So Kolkata is my correct location, but if it is not correctly defaulted, you can type and select your location. I'll click continue here. Now it is asking for the name of the machine as well as the username and the password. So I'll put a name. You can put any any name you know you want. Computer name is AKVM. PK username is AK. Password I'll set one password. And then require my password to log in. I'll keep this option. Click continue. Okay, now the installation process has begun. So it will take some time, maybe you know 30 40 minutes, depending on your speed of the computer. I'll pause the video and I'll restart this video again when there is an another action point comes up. Well, now the installation is completed so it's asking to restart the machine i'll click the restart now button so it's asking for please remove the installation medium and then press enter so what i'll do here i'll close this window and choose the option power off the machine so we'll start ubuntu 64 bit that virtual machine again. Okay, so after the restart, so now the login window has appeared. So just click on it, your username, and give the password that you set in the first time when the installation started, and click sign on. Okay, so now the Ubuntu home screen has appeared. So just click next. Not now. I don't want to send the information. And click done. So that's it. So your Ubuntu is set up. And just to try Ubuntu few command line. So application tab, just click on that. Search for terminal. So the terminal window appears and you can see that AK-VM, this was the machine name and AK is the username. Just type some 
Linux command or that Unix command. Um, so and then you know, so things are done. So you are good to go with it. You can open the Firefox web browser. Okay, so the Firefox browser is opened and you can search for you know the normal you can browse your internet browse the web as you wish like my online edu.com uh, so here you go you have the website open thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section thank you